I hiss in the hairster ready, I in two or three on the throne. I've heard for six or seven weeks, the hairster's gone and grown. And we a covey will array a monthy and a day. Sends are the jolly hairsters singing blithely down the brae. You've got to go in there with the attitude that you're going to give it your all and that none of them would be there if they didn't want to win. Those three winners that go home having got a prize and in particular the champion will be very happy but those three that didn't get a prize they'll be disappointed. It was on a certain fair tune by Davron Banks and Pleasant Border, a fair and wife got Mistress Gregor serving girl is kept in order. Both the singing is <coughs> uh, a traditional art uh, for um, singing songs about farming, living, working on farms in the north and northeast of Scotland. Anne wouldn't agree with me, but you see, I think a lot of these are just farm songs. I don't think they're body ballads. No, you see, I mean... See, my argument would be that you couldn't write a body ballad nowadays because nobody loves a body. That's right. You just couldn't do it. They're farm songs, that's fine. I've got no objection to them, but I wouldn't class them as body ballads. Can I put on some stick? Dow, row, 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 diddle up a dory, diddle up a dory, to dow, row, row. In the long winter nights in a body, there was very little else to do. So you entertained yourself. The candle was like, and you did it. A both is a building sometimes attached to the farm or standing alone where a single farm worker would have spent his nights uh, cooking and uh, entertaining himself and singing both is. We ought and stray them by the morning and blow the bed them you were. The folk in that competition love going and performing both the ballads. And what a great accolade for the year. Every day you get up in the year, you'll walk past that bro's bowl and think, I won that at Elgin. I'm the top, top dog in the Bothy Ballad scene. And why not? If they're the best that night at Elgin, they deserve to have that bro's bowl on their mantelpiece for a year. Oh, there's nothing like Elgin. Elgin gives you a kick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was a troop of oh, Irish dragoons came marching down through five e o. A great job to have for the evening because it's always a fantastic evening because it's the cream of the Bothy Ballad singers coming together in a championship competition to find out for the year who was the champion of champions. My God, what a job I'm telling you. <laughs> Somewhere along the lines, I've got to make that tough decision. And nobody's there to help me. Uh, I'm going to be sitting there on my own. And yeah, I could lose three friends very easily. No, come down the stair, pretty Peggy, my dear. And I was watching you guys out there as well. You was helping me make up my mind a wee bit at the end of the day. So then I just blame me for not being you for the results. <laughs> The last farewell, lawyer, daddy. -o. I've got to go there and be fair. That's 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 all I can do. And I think at the end of the day, they'll respect me for that. I'm Gordon Easton, and I was born and brought up in Tyree. Here, this is the parish of Tyree in the heart of Buchan in Aberdeenshire. I left the school when I was fourteen to work to my great grandfather. He was farming here. Gordon had the added asset, of course, that he could take out the melodion or the fiddle That's or the right. trump in the movie. Gordon turn his hand to anything. I didn't allow myself to be competitive, but you've got to compete if you're going to be in for a competition. Gordon Easton, Joe Aiken, Jody Murison, these are, these, are, these are great ballad singers, great bothy ballad singers. I've just got to know Russell this last year. He's got a nice way with the songs, but maybe performance wise, he's, sort of, he's still at the closed eye stage again. The flower of her nation. There's none who could excel. I get nervous before I go on 
before 10 people at our folk club. I have really no idea how I'm going to feel before I go on before 700 people in the biggest competition of my life in Elgin. I practice singing quite a lot uh, in the house, in the car, out when I'm walking, although I do get some strange looks from passers-by. The bind has greased and stored the wall since last in a rhyme. For rigged out with canvases, with blades and binder twine. If I get through, through the exercise without making too much of a fool of myself, I'll be delighted. I'll tell you who's very close to him, Bill Gray. Very good. Just he's come on very and he's just <coughs> lying. Now Boggy has a daughter. Her name is Isabel. She's the flower of the valley, the lily of the dell. If I'm in the house, it's a modern environment I'm living in, I feel it. I don't get the true feeling of the song or the, the arts to learn the song, but if I'm up here working in the land, I feel like I'm a farm worker uh, toiling the, the land and some days I come up with there's nobody going about and I can sing away to my heart's content. The dark a pleasant walk we hear by the barn on boggy side. I learned this kind of thing when I was a child, but uh, like everything else, you know, when you reach your teenage, you, you sort of drift away from this. But I'm now back happily in this kind of music. This is what I feel happy doing. Come look at that fiddle if you went in, he didn't think you'd find me hiding. And all oh, that she did scarl and rant, he paid no heed until her bed then. Now, if you're listening to both of ballads, one of the great problems is understanding what the men are singing about. She dared the coin he's ready to say to pull him out for he was lying, and blessed her good man doing the stair to cudgel him when he was flying. It's a bit like opera to a certain extent, that you, all the emotion of opera comes across even though you may not know Italian or German or whatever language it's being sung in. Do, ro, 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 did la, ba, do, re, did la, ba, do, re, do, do, ro, ro. Don't try and translate every word into English. The very fact that it's Scots means it probably won't translate very well into English. Just let the general sense flow over and enjoy the music. There's a young lad of 17 going who I've never met, I don't know, so I'll be in and I've never heard him singing, so that's going to be quite interesting as well. They were howling in the kitchen like a caravan, I think he's on somewhere playing ping pong at the Leeward Winkies. Far up the how and down the how, you never saw so jinkies as McGinty's meal and ale for a pig on the spree. Well, I've been doing it since I was eight years old, like, and I won in the competitions, kind of encourages him a bit. I think it's excellent that Neil's a part of the competition this time round. He's been singing in competitions for, he'll tell you himself, but to my knowledge it must be six or seven years. When I was younger I kind of got first every other time, like, but since, since I'm up against adults now it's kind of a lot harder. So it sounds like you're used to success then? Well, you could say that, yeah. New McGinty's peg had broken louse and won her to the lobby For he opened, shoved the pantry door and come upon the toddy And he took kindly to the stuff like on a human body At McGinty's meal and ale for a peg had on the spree And I take my hat off to somebody like Neil Because um, I got ragged about at school for it And it's, it, both the ballads is, you know, not a very trendy kind of music to listen to but it's, it's, it's good that young lads like Neil are coming through and have had the courage to, to stand up with the, with the lads and sing the Bothy Ballads. I get a lot nervous just bef about five, ten minutes before you go on. Like, but you're OK and it's over, we like. It's a lot the same, like, just... You ask them if they're nervous and they're just sitting there shaking, like... He'll get the same buzz as I get and uh, he'll uh, reciprocate. There's no doubt about it. That song was called uh, McGinty's Meal and Ale, and it was about a pig and too much toady. Well, this next gentleman comes from Netherly, which is near Stonehaven, or Steen High, if you come to that part uh, of the woods. So please welcome Jordy Pearson! Jordy's got a great repertoire, and uh, 
a great creepy way of putting the Irish song. A grip was ten, the besom was deal, the bar at wed never how it's lean. Sick in a sauce that differ was seen, the mocking had you heard these bear. She's got a lot of female fans. The daughter she'd to stray and nip, all wife started to swipe the grip, from Jordy fell sclite on a rotten nip. Can <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> Well, they're all challengers, really, but I would say the main challengers will be Jordy Murison and Joe Aiken because they've been over the course before. New Bell, she was the bonniest lass in all the countryside. And very soon I lost my heart to the bell of side. Most competitions are the same. Uh, Different judges would probably judge it differently, uh, but last year it was just happened to me, me that that came out on top. And off times in the summer's night, I'd wander with my dear to watch the trees loping by bogies water. We normal, uh, <laughs> be glad to see it's home back if it does come back, but whatever happens, happens. And uh, if it comes back, well and good, and if it doesn't, well, uh, the norm's homeless. No, all my ends was an elder, a God fearing man, and cursing and swearing he never could stand, but he often forgot to be kind to the poor. Horse and man had to suffer at the man's a drum you were. I have never dressed to take part in a competition before. So again, it came as a bit of a shock when I think it was Geordie Murison said to me that, they, no, you have to dress the part, get, get all your, your Nicky Tams and your, your boots and your galluses ready. Well, this is my old corduroy trousers, similar to what the farm workers used to wear. The original twine that the lads used for tying round when they were threshing to keep the mice and rats from running up their trousers. It kept them away from the side of your boots, it kept them flared to the outside. The old farm boots, mustn't forget them. I wanted to be, you can confined in a, a too tight a jacket because you'd well, you know, kind of work the day and work in the thrashing mills and that your arms were up over the other place. It's a great thing it's on, it really feels as though you're, part, you're in character again. Basically, it's it's mostly on the performance and possibly appearance of a certain extent. They're in costume. And I think to help to set the scene from an audience point of view, because they're an audience there, that they, they have a backdrop. This is actually the staging for the bothy. All these bits and pieces are transformed into a super bothy. It's magician, magician. It looks, it looks a lot of rubbish, but... It's a lot of rubbish. All, all of a sudden. He works a miracle. The train is getting to be a part of the, the whole weekend because there's about ten of us up on the train. And that's a nice relaxing way to travel. It can be a five nip journey, but depends on the size of the nips. Your best maybe just to hit two. There's whiskey, Bacardi, Morgan Spice, Morgan Spiced, vodka, and brandy. Fran. I can't find my glass. <laughs> That's exhausted. Jim, if you've got a spare glass for the, the cameraman. The role of whiskey is, is not insignificant. I don't think it's peculiar to Bothy Balance, let's put it that way. It's not the be all and end all, but it, it just sort of helps the wheels turn. There's taxes on this, there's taxes on that. Well, we're getting lean, the officials get fat. You must admit it's a bit underhand, putting a tax on the breath of the land. Cause it's twelve and a tanner a bottle Aye, that's what it's costing the day 
Twelve and the dawn at a bottle, but the dark saw the pleasure away. And the poor you can get on with rubbish, you have to spend all that you've got. Oh, how can a fellow be happy when happiness costs such a lot? I like my Bothy Bottles, I like all the Scottish songs and all, everything. Oh, I don't have a favourite tonight. I don't know this year. I haven't heard the young lad. I haven't heard him. We're quite excited because there's a youngster here tonight, but uh, it'll be close competition and I can never get the winner. Never. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> see who sings the best. They can all perform well. We know that. But, you know, you're just going to be looking for that one big star turn uh, on the night, lots of confidence, choosing the right song, starting in the right pace, and just carrying it off to perfection. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the competition, and the man who drew the short straw this evening, first man on, is Gordon Easton from Tyree, and he's going to sing for you, the Buckin' Plumen. Please welcome Gordon Easton. You do your part and take what you get. No, I bought it for a sax and month at a place they call Bacairn. When I get him the bothy lads, they took me for a bairn. We horny hands, they ate wild spuds, the bothy fleer was a bit. If your ballad's got a good story and get it across to the audience, it's, it's worth a lot. But you've still got to sing. Oh, my tuckety beats a trumpet as spuds, says I like mine best chop it. We a lot of plural I do, do 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 If you let your concentration go for your singing, uh, you've had it. I love the plural I do, do 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> Competitor number two, ladies and gentlemen, coming from Ellen, and his name is Russell Taylor. He's going to sing for you now, Bogies Bonnie Bell. Bogies Bonnie Bell. I get very nervous before I go up on stage, but once I get started, I just go into my own little world, just singing to myself and as well as I can to myself. He puts in the handwriting, it's where I did agree. We boggy he dog yarny, a six months for a fee. I would much rather be in the audience listening to these people and trying to learn from them than being up on stage trying to sing. Yeah, twenty weeks had passed and gone, this lassie lost her bloom. Her rosy cheeks grew pale and wan, and she began to swoon. I have no idea how bothy ballads are judged. All I can do is sing from my heart what this song means to me. And maybe she's got an a better match How Boggy can I tell But it's me fast in the maiden heat Oh Boggy's bonny bell I got through it, which is an end. It's very important not just to go up in the competition and sing the song. It's great to be able to entertain the people as well because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I was sent to car the down like wise men the pernals. And then the rain it did come on, the orders come to laws. Oh, sing here, yarity, yarity, oh, sing here, yarity, and. One of the pitfalls to avoid is obviously starting off in the wrong key because if, if you're playing with an instrument, you, you know exactly what key you're singing in. 
And one of them is obviously forgetting your lines, really. Oh, sing here, arity, adio, sing here, arity, ar. The or next orders was to wait the day begun to break. I'll be looking for that obvious mistake. I'll have to, because there's six of them there. There's only three of them going to get prizes at all. Three of them are going to be pretty disappointed. Oh, sing here, arity, adio. I'm not sure if it's uh, documented, but I think it is, that they have the world record for serving the most stovies in the shortest number of minutes, which is a feat in itself. I did a pride myself with stovies. I make my stovies with roast beef, and I mean, the proof is eaten. Mm, perfect. I mean, off in a tailgun, they are rubbish. In fact, there was one day I was horrified and I thought, Jesus, I've got somebody's finger. I really thought it was somebody's finger. And it was pork sausages. Stovies made with sausages. Does that you said? The stovies at Elgin? Mm, probably not the best stovies I've had, but then they do have to make over 600 portions. You'll get folk that'll, that'll complain about anything. They're usually very good. Maybe sometimes a wee bit better than others, but they're really good. Now they're going to try and beat the record at the moment, which is stands at 16 minutes and 17 seconds. Whenever they announce the interval, they're away. Enjoy your stovies. See you in half an hour. Bye! created a new world record. We beat the last Stovey serving record by 26 seconds. Well done. Everybody there has a chance of winning. It's not like there's a clear-cut winner. Every year it's sort of hand and heart when they announce the winner come. Who was in Necht until the stable by Trist I met her there on purpose for to have some fun and good advice to gear. If, if I won it, I would be really thrilled, but I'm not that competitive. I'll just get my best shot in the night and, and let the judge decide for the other thing. He did give us both our leave out over the stable door. Oh, yeah, he marks a good job. The bugger it is. <laughs> But yon big tune, a bean la road, it is forbidden there, and for fear we all call o him hell, I'll bid ye ah beware. <laughs> I'm not going to give anyone a prize because they got it last year or they've won it for the past five years or whatever. They've got to win it on merit on the night of the performance, and that's it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome on stage the current champion, Joe Aiken! Well, he's not going to ask any questions this <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm going to sing the Hester Righty. Well, I'm going to try anyway. You could sing one song one day and it sounds perfect. You could sing the next song the next week and he just makes a mess of it, so... I hiss in the hester ready, I in two or three on the throne. I've heard for six or seven weeks the hester's gone and grown, and we a covey will erre a monthy and a day. Sends are the jolly hester's singing blithely down the brae. So come all ye jolly ready blades, a ringing cheer hurrah, a band o' better working chaps, a gaffer never saw, say eager I play your part, 
and ready for the bray. Twas you that made the body row, that was steered by Willie Ray. who's aged just 17. He comes from Bridge of Monarch. His name is Neil Crowley, and he's going to sing for you. I'll, I'll give it in English for a start, the cleansing of George's cowshed. <laughs> Better known in this area as the mucking of George's buyer, Neil Crowley. He'll probably be one of the most nervous ones because he's going in with the big lads. But the one good thing is, that all these lads will give Neil the greatest encouragement to go onto that stage with. At a little craft at the side of the hill, run the breakfast brought his mill, trying all his life the time to kill, love Jordy McIntyre. He keeps saying to him if he's got something important, have you been practising, have you been practising? He just goes up there and <laughs> it happens. Oh, Ben the buyer come Jordy Sue, and she stood up in the coo. The cookie cat took and off the stew, at the mocking of Jordy's buyer. What are you going to do if he wins? Cry, probably. <laughs> I'm a bit <laughs> softy. No, I'll be really chuffed. I'm proud when he sings and mocks a job of it and that. His folks are deed no all long sign. So in case his memories you should dine, just on this tune to keep you in mind, the mocking of Geordie's buyer. The grip was deep, the besom was thin, the barrack when the row was lean, and second a sort of the devil was seen at the mocking of Geordie's buyer. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have been looking back uh, as much as, as some of us do, but uh, I think it's it's good to, to know how things were and how things went on. Maybe I should be stupid competing, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to compete as long as I think I'm doing some good and as long as you're making a fair performance to keep our tradition alive. This is a way of life that very few people know can say they experienced in person. We have two great singers, Jock Duncan and Gordon Easton, who still remember these times firsthand. If it isn't passed on, then it dies, and people forget about it, and it just becomes a long distant memory. Even if it may not even be a memory, it may just go. There's maybe a bit of future, and yet I don't know. <laughs> but I haven't long to go, you see. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm on the way out. But uh, it's great to hear young kiddies coming up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the judge of this evening, Robert Levy. Well, I hit to pull the hair, I hit to make a decision, and here we go. You can steam me, I'm ready to run, but here we go. I'm going to give it the third place tonight, because you saw the mucking of Johnny's by a great <laughs> But I said he sang it with great feeling and it was a song that he felt comfortable uh, in singing. There was no doubt about that. And he said it was at his end home too in between St. Howden and Lawrence Cap. Second went to Johnny Murison. <laughs> Could give it to them all but he started as he meant to go on when he come on here and just opened his mouth and just captured everybody in his audience he comes on with that great but subtle air of confidence and you cannot take it away from him first place goes to joey <laughs> Oh, dear, oh, 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 oh,